People are asking me all the time, what's your favorite place on Route 1? Well, there, there are so many places to go. There's so many things to do on Route 1. I can't pick just one. I figured the best way to answer those questions is to roll them all together, get all my favorites into, into one day. My best day on Route 1. So first, I think we better start with some ground rules. I can transport myself seamlessly over the entire 2,365 miles of U.S. Route 1, all 13 states, plus Washington, D.C. I, uh, I can eat and drink endless quantities without feeling any ill effects. I don't need to sleep or rest. And uh, just suspend your disbelief. Come on, let's get started. I'd like to begin with sunrise at the Beavertail Lighthouse in Jamestown, Rhode Island. It's where one of the first lighthouses in the U.S. was located and speaks to the importance of the maritime trades during the colonial era. Next, we're going to need some coffee to keep us going. There's lots of great coffee on Route 1, but Ceres Bakery in Portsmouth, New Hampshire is a really special place. It's where friends gather every morning to enjoy delicious coffee and baked goods amidst beautiful images created by local artists. Now that we're sufficiently caffeinated, come take a gentle walk with me along the banks of the Congaree River in West Columbia, South Carolina. The weather should be warming up and the morning sun will be reflecting off the water. Next, we're gonna need to tuck into a big breakfast. That's my favorite meal of the day. I'm thinking that Route One Diner in Lawrenceville, New Jersey will have everything we want and more. Their omelets are fantastic. Maybe you'd like pancakes. Next, it's time for some serious literary culture. How about the Beinecke Rare Books Museum at Yale? In addition to a Gutenberg Bible, they've got many of the oldest books on the planet inside a translucent marble building that will blow your mind. While we're on the subject of antiques, let's go to Camden, Maine, and take a look at all of the remarketed attic finds, haggle over price tags, and marvel at J-U-N-Q-U-E that people actually consider buying. <laughs> what a hoot. Well, we've only got time for nine holes and we haven't gotten to North Carolina yet. So uh, what do you think? Pinehurst or Southern Pines? Which are, we, which, which are we gonna play? Your choice. Southern Pines or Pinehurst number two where the US Open was held this year. That'll sharpen your game a little. Okay, lunchtime, and we're staying in the South for barbecue at my all-time favorite joint, Almonds in Fredericksburg, Virginia. It's been on this corner as long as Route 1 has passed through town, and they still don't cut any corners cooking their meats low and slow. Lest you feel a little sleepy after that fill-you-up lunch, let's scare the bejesus out of you at the Poe Museum in Baltimore. There are many tributes to Edgar Allan along the route in Richmond, Philly, and New York City, but I'm told the Baltimore Poe Museum is the best of them all. Chill time. Let's visit a great beach. Fort Lauderdale should be hopping by now. Or American Beach in Fernandina. I got it. Daytona. Grab your towel and hop on the back of my Harley because there's bound to be a motorcycle gathering in town. On to our nation's capital to pay homage to our wonderful country at the entrance hall of the castle building of the Smithsonian Museum. Too bad we can't stay all day. Hey, we don't want to be late for our dinner overlooking Central Park in New York City. 35 floors above the street in Columbus Circle, a table at Asiate at the Mandarin isn't something to skip out on. There's a concert in Boston at Berkeley College of Music, or maybe the symphony orchestra is in town. Either way, we're in for a treat. Finally, we're going out on the town for drinks and carousing on Duval Street in Key West. There is always a party going on there. So did you notice? I skipped over one of the 13 states. Yeah, I blew off Pennsylvania. Look, when I was concocting this My Best Day thing, I was afraid I was going to get stuck here. And I think I've got enough to do a whole My Best Day here in my home state of Pennsylvania. Well, thank you for joining me on My Best Day on Route 1. I hope you'll come back and do the Pennsylvania version, too.
travel safely. And I'll see you out on Route 1.